Hello everybody and welcome to the Netbird channel. In this one we have an exciting thing to announce and that is the release of version 0.61. There are two pretty large changes coming to this release and the first one is going to be the fine grain SSH access control. This is a breaking change, meaning that self-hosted installations must upgrade the management server before upgrading their clients and enabling this new SSH model. Failing to do this may result in unexpected behavior. Additionally, we have automatic updates for your Windows and Mac OS clients, which is very helpful, especially if you're managing a large team of people, a large amount of user and clients. Also, I'd like to mention that our iOS client has gotten some substantial improvements over the last couple of weeks, including including adding the force relay connection option, we have some bug fixes and much better logs. Within the iOS app, you should see better performance, better battery consumption, overall just a better experience. But for this video specifically, we are gonna be focusing on this, which is the new fine grain SSH access control. Now here, if I head over to this Netbird instance, I'm gonna go over to our peers. You can see I got two peers connected here. I just have a simple Linux container and then the MacBook that I'm currently on. At the moment, I have no policies or anything, but I want to give myself granular control to SSH here. I could do that through access control and policies, but I'm just gonna head over to the container that I want to actually SSH into. And you can see SSH server is enabled, but starting with our current version, this is gonna require explicit access control policies. Now, one thing to note, and I do recommend you go ahead and read up on, is the documentation. So this right here will link you directly to, if I go ahead and zoom in here so you can see what I'm looking at, all the documentation is right here available for you. So I do recommend you read up on that in addition to this video you're watching now. Additionally, if I go ahead and scroll up there, are steps that you're gonna to need to do, of course, to enable SSH on a machine. What you can see right here under using CLI, you're gonna to want to use the flag netbird up allow SSH server, and there are some additional flags and options here if you want to enable some of these. Now for the actual machine that I'm gonna to want to SSH to, of course, I'm gonna to need to create that policy. So I'm just gonna click create SSH policy right here. And you can see here under protocol, we have netbird SSH selected. That is gonna be new in this version in addition to this section right here, SSH access. When you have full access selected, it's going to give the user that's logging in the ability to sign in with any of the users that are on that machine. I can specify these specific groups that the user can sign into. So for this, I'm gonna select the source being my admin group. For your case, this might be your backend developers, it might be auditors, family members, however you have it set up. But for me, I'm gonna have admins accessing this Linux container and let's say I don't want full access. All I would do is go limited access and you can see right here, it says all local users. So all I would do is type in Brandon or whatever user that's on that local machine that you're SSHing into that you want to give your specific Netbird group or users access to. And then from there, we could create this access control policy. So I'll just continue. I do recommend you check out posture checks. You get even more granular in how secure you actually want everything to be but we'll continue for now. That looks fine, so we'll add that policy. So now what I should be able to do, let's just copy this Netbird domain there right here, head over to our terminal. So SSH at that username, at our Netbird domain, hit enter. You can see it's gonna sign me in, bam, and we're logged in, absolutely beautiful. Now let's say, let's go ahead and exit out of here, and I wanna sign into a different account, which a user I have on here has the name Prod. If I hit that, it tried to authenticate, login successful over here, but we can see that the handshake failed, unable to authenticate. That's because I did not allow myself to actually log in with that user. So if I wanted to fix this, I would just head back over to the dashboard over here and we're gonna go to policies, our SSH access policy, and we can just add that group or add that user, prod, just like that, hit save, and now if I try to run the same thing, it's going to authenticate once again. And just like that, I am signed in. And really that's all there is to it. I do recommend once again, you going through our SSH documentation over here, skimming through everything, learning about it. This also goes into more detail on like SFTP and things like that, how it works, some of the benefits and so on. Additionally, down below, I will link to the announcement so you could read all about version 0.61. Make sure you subscribe so we have a lot of cool things coming up. And with all that, I hope you have a beautiful day and good bye.